This is Tutorial 8, Case 2. We begin by opening a file called Popcorn and then save it as Seattle Popcorn. Fill in the documentation sheet and then move to the Profit Analysis Worksheet. Beginning with Step 2, we want to range name these three cells, C15, 16, and 17, and we want to give them the name that's in the cell to the left of them. So that works perfectly to do a Create from Selection. So I've highlighted both B and C, I've gone to Formulas, and in the Define Name section I'll choose Create from Selection. We'll indicate that the left column will contain the names and click OK. In H3, they want us to write a formula that will calculate revenue. Well, revenue would be equal to the units sold, or G3, times the sales price per unit. So I can just click on that cell rather than typing that in. So equal G3 times sales price per unit. Notice it's using our range name. And of course if you don't sell any units you don't make any revenue. We need to enter a formula to calculate expenses. Expenses are units sold times the cost per unit, the manufacturing cost per unit. But then we need to add to that the fixed monthly expenses. So that's going to be equal G3 times manufacturing cost per unit plus fixed monthly expenses. And so right now that's zero because we don't have any numbers in. In cell C18, we need to write a formula that will calculate the break-even point. If you would direct your attention to the formula bar, you'll see, actually let's just look at this part. The formula to calculate the break-even point is to take the fixed monthly expense or C17 and divide it by the difference between, notice that's a minus, the difference between the sales price per unit and the manufacturing cost per unit. Then further in the question they asked us to nest this formula inside of an if error. So I just stuck an if error to the left and opened the paren, went all the way to the end and typed a comma and two double quotes which is a null string which means leave the cell blank and then closed it off with another paren. So this is the formula that you would use in cell C18. In cell C19, we want to type a formula that will calculate revenue, or the sales price per unit, times the break-even point. So we start with equal, and then we'll click on or type sales price per unit times C18. Now, when we press enter, that results in the value error. And of course, consistently in this exercise, they've asked us to nest our um, formulas inside of an if error. So we'll do the same thing here. So we'll slide in if error in front of sales, open the paren, go over to the end, type a comma, two double quotes with nothing in between, and close your paren. We're taking our sales price per unit times C18, that calculates our revenue, but then if that results in an error, we have nested that inside of an if error function, which will cause the cell to be blank. Now when I press enter, notice that C19 is blank. Moving on to step 7, we go to cell C15 and we create some validation rules. What we want to allow in this cell are whole numbers between 5 and 15. So we'll go to data, data validation, we will allow a whole number between 5 and 15 add an input message and we can call this valid uh, price and then you could say something like please enter a whole number between 5 and 15. Now the error alert style they said to pick is just a warning and then we'll give that a title of invalid price and then another error message. Please enter a whole number between 5 and 15. Now I'm going to stop the video so that I can finish the data validation. You can do the same and then join me again when you're ready to move on to step 8. So I have my data validation in C15 and C16 and C17 and we're ready now to move to step 8. In step 8 they want us to protect the worksheet but they also want the user to be able to enter numbers in these three cells. So that requires a two-step operation. The first step is to remove the locks from these cells and then the second step is to protect the sheet. 
So to remove the locks, I've already highlighted these cells, and I'll go to Home and click the More button for Font so I can get into the Format Cells dialog box. I'll go to Protection, and I will remove the lock feature from those cells. Now I'll protect the sheet. So that's under Review, Protect Sheet, and we'll click OK. Please don't give your Protect Sheet a password in case you forget it. So let's click OK and move on to step 9. They want us to enter some values just to see how this is all working. So we'll type a 13 here for our sales price. We'll type $10 for our cost per unit. And our fixed monthly expenses will type 30,000. And so that gives us a break-even point of 10,000 units. In other words, we're going to have to sell 10,000 units with a profit of $3 a piece in order to break even. One thing I didn't do was copy my revenue and expense formulas down. So let's highlight those two cells and double click the fill handle. And that fills these formulas down, which then completes our uh, chart. And the break-even point is right here. It says Series 3, and we can fix that. But by default, that's what you're going to see. And so here's our break-even point, and the red line represents our expenses, and the green line represents our revenue. This is the end of the video.